All right, so some DeFi crypto news from GSK Wealth Builders. I just want to talk about something that happened today. So today, DeFi total value locked sets records as the Binance Smart Chain powered protocols add billions. So if we're talking about DeFi and crypto and becoming uh, or banking the unbanked or banked people becoming bankless, this all has to do with the value creation in the DeFi space, giving people the ability to earn interests like in the 70s and 80s. So in the 70s and 80s, the reason why people would save a lot more is because they get returns on their savings, 10%, 15% annual return on their treasury bills. That has never been a thing in my lifetime as an adult, right? So the DeFi total value locked. Um, there are a lot of new protocols coming out that people like. So Ethereum has a great platform, but the, the problem with Ethereum is for small savers or small investors, they are, they are getting feed to death, right? So if you have $100 in USDC and you're using the Ethereum blockchain to set up an account just to earn interest could cost you more than $100 on some of the platforms. So there's no sense in doing that. Now, when you have a larger amount, $10,000, a million dollars, these fees don't matter as much, but fees kill on the Ethereum blockchain. Binance Smart Chain was able to develop uh, a smart chain. It is not decentralized, it is centralized. There are some advantages to being centralized, like being able to pivot right away on the decision of the CEO, uh, being able to add more things without having to vote and take months to vote. So in the beginning stages, a centralized company like Binance, like Coinbase can do very well. The goal would be to be fully decentralized. I don't know if that's their goal, but that is one of the advantages. So total value locked. You're looking at pancake swap. At, they added 29%, 1.3 billion in total value locked. So what that means is someone is taking their coins and they're sending it to an exchange or they're sending it to a smart contract to start staking. The staking, they're putting the capital up to help other validators validate the network and keep the network secure. So when you put your money up or your tokens up, what happens is you get a return. So your return can be anywhere between 0.5% and some platforms are even 100%. There's a risk though, and it, ch it changes every day. So when you have a 100% annual rate, that doesn't mean that's locked in. All it means is today, it's 100% annual rate. As more money comes into that protocol, that rate will go down because of economies of scale. So it, what they do is they'll start a new pool or new staking and they'll have a high rate because they want you to get in. As more people get in, the rate goes down and it goes down and it goes down. So there's a first mover's advantage. The reason why there's a first mover's advantage, you have to get paid for the risk. The risk is maybe that smart contract is not audited right. There are networks that like paid network they were hacked and someone was able to create or mint coins and spend them right away. So you put your money in and then all of a sudden you get hacked, rug pulled, something like that. That's the risk. That's why they're paying you high amounts. But once there's large amounts of money, people are assuming that it's safe. It doesn't mean that it's safe. It just hasn't got hacked yet. So anyways, the DeFi protocols are up and they're at a billion. So we can just go to DeFi station and look at what's actually been locked in DeFi. So I'll have to check on the last time I did the crypto show, but in the last, let's look at the last seven days. The last seven days, we've gone from 13.8 billion to 18.2 billion. So in seven days, $5 billion has been locked in DeFi. That's amazing. 24 hours, 3% change. And the leader, the lending platform, Venus Swap, $6 billion, Ellipsis Finance. They've came out of nowhere. I actually don't know who they are. Wow. Um, that's crazy. Ellipsis Finance? Auto Farm, Pancake Bunny. So these are the protocols that have the money now. Let, let's just look at Ellipsis Finance. Where did this come from? <laughs> uh, 
Wow. Okay. So Ellipsis Finance is four days old, and it's one point eight billion in total value locked. I have no idea how that happened. So this is the thing about crypto. Every day is like a month in you know in real life. Every day in crypto is like a month in the stock market, right? So what they're doing is it looks like there's pools set up. I'll have to do the research on Ellipsis, but there's pools set up and they have BUSD, USDC, and USDT. The base is 0.84. What is the value proposition of ellipsis? They don't really have much. This is weird to me. Why is there 1.8 billion? So I'm just going to look for the white paper of ellipsis finance. six days ago okay so let's let's talk about it ellipsis finance is officially launched on march 2021 as an authorized fork of curve finance okay that's why they could just pop up out of nowhere so they took a curve finance pl platform and they put it on the binance smart chain anyone who's used curve will know how to use ellipsis so as a result the curve holders will receive 25 percent of the token supply airdropped monthly over the next 10 months. So if you hold this token, you're going to get airdrops every month, which is basically a dividend in coins, but it's diluting the coins. And then usually what happens is they try to reverse that by using the profits from the trading or the profits from the fees that they charge to burn to buy back the coins. So the team will even receive support from Curve Finance and commit to their values. So the cool thing about crypto in general is most of the technology, most of the protocols are open source, meaning if I create an amazing technology on the Ethereum platform, someone else can take it from me and put on the Binance platform. Then someone else can take it from me and put on the Polkadot platform. These platforms all have different advantages. If you move to Binance right away, the fees that are $80 to buy and sell are less than a dollar. And the speed of the transactions are faster on Binance right now. Polkadot is claiming to have speeds of 50,000 transactions per second once they're, you know, once they're set up. That's the same as Visa, where Ethereum is doing 13 to 17 transactions per second. So there's a there's a bottleneck. And then what happens is for people to speed up their transactions, they bid more money. So the people who have the big wallets get the, the best service. That's not fair. So Ethereum is trying to change that. So this token the eps token is a revenue earning token where the token stakers earn fees from the ellipsis protocol the trading fees are equally split 50 50 between stakers and liquidity providers so when you hold that token every time someone trades you're going to get a piece of the fees so this is amazing um obviously there has to be audits they have to make sure that this is a safe place to deploy but i came on to talk about DeFi and just the total value locked and we ended up finding a brand new protocol that in five days got 1.8 billion dollars so i think that's great news this is exactly why i'm in crypto it's exactly why i like crypto um, i like the innovation i like the speed of implementation and then let's go to um DeFi pulse which is the ethereum blockchain and see what happened there So if we go on the same seven days, say March 20th, it's basically even. So March 20, you know, March 18th, there was 43 billion. Today there's 40 billion. So it's actually gone down. Now, what that could mean is the price of Ethereum has gone down. So the value of all the coins have gone down and nothing has actually changed. Or what it could mean is people are leaving Ethereum blockchain and moving to the Binance blockchain. I don't know what which one it is. There could be other reasons, but DeFi Pulse. Um, that's where you can go and get the Ethereum stats. The site is kind of slow right now. Yeah, the site is slow. But that's all I wanted to talk about was 
DeFi, how it's growing, and now we have another platform to look at. So that's all I got for today.